As people enter adulthood, they start to take on more responsibilities. One of these is to manage their money. It's important, therefore, to understand how things like saving, borrowing, bank accounts and paying bills work. Let's look at the basics. Most people keep their money in a bank account. There are two main types, a current account and a savings account. A current account is for day-to-day -day use and is what most people have their wages paid into. They can easily access their money from a cash machine or by going into the bank to withdraw it. The bank usually gives them a card, called a debit card. This can be used to withdraw money from cash machines as well as pay for things electronically in shops so there's no need to carry cash around with them. It's also becoming more and more common for people to pay for goods and services online via internet banking. Many people often have a savings account too. This is where they put the money that they want to save for something special. So why do people keep their savings in a savings account rather than their current account? There are two main reasons. Firstly, it helps them to keep track of how much they've managed to save by keeping what they need to cover monthly living costs, such as food, travel and bills, separate. Secondly, savings accounts generally pay more interest than current accounts. Interest is both the money a bank pays you for keeping your money in an account with them and the money you must pay the bank for borrowing money from them. Some people wonder how much money they should keep in their current and savings accounts. In their current account, it's important they keep enough to live on each month to pay for food, accommodation and household bills. They should also keep some money in the account in case of a financial emergency. This is because banks charge fees for spending more money than you have in your account. The rest can then be moved into your savings account. The next thing we're going to look at is credit cards. These are very similar to debit cards, but there is one big difference. When people use a credit card, they aren't using money from their own account, they're borrowing money from the bank. At the end of the month, if the person hasn't paid all of the money back, then the credit card company will charge them interest. The main advantage to using a credit card is that they generally provide greater protection when making large purchases. If your goods don't arrive or are damaged, you'll be able to claim money back. Paying bills is a very important part of money management. Because people often have lots of bills to pay, it's easy to lose track, which can result in late payment charges. However, people can arrange for these payments to automatically come out of their current account each month by setting up direct debits, which means they don't have to remember. It can even save them money, as companies often offer discounts to people who pay by direct debit rather than by credit or debit card. I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to money management video. Some of the topics covered here are discussed in more detail in other videos in this series. More information about debt and the work the charity undertakes can be found on our website.